All right, guys, day three, another adventure away. Yeah. Uh, we've turned on some lovely weather, but uh, yeah, I reckon <laughs> yeah, after this beautiful. trip, you'll think about rain differently. It's it's opportunity and it's energy. It is. It's incredible. So we're off to Taralia Power Station, which was the station that we were looking down at last night. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yep. And what we've just passed to our right was the canal system that takes that water from Lake King William to the penstocks, ready to be pushed down through the turbines. So the canals, the penstocks, and that tunnel that we were talking about at Gordon on yes. day one, yes. yep, they all serve the same purpose, which is to take water from one storage and ready to be pushed through the turbines. Okay, perfect. Okay. So, Taralia, you ready? Absolutely. We're ready. Let's go. Welcome. Hi. So we've arrived at Taralia Power Station. One of the reasons that we're here is to look at the water that has come through those pen stops that we were at yesterday evening, yeah. through the turbine, through the station, and out. And I guess just looking at the force of that water as it's Going hitting the river, fast, you can really it? appreciate kind of the pressure and the force yeah, of that water. Yes. Um, it smells so beautiful too. So out to the river and it's now going to flow down to the sea and pass through six power stations. Wow. Six? Yeah. Wow. So not only is hydro renewable because it's rain falling from the sky and it's replenished, it's also renewable because that same water is going to be passed through six power stations wow. and every time be power. it'll generate more wow. renewable energy that is so good. which is brilliant yeah That's fantastic so we were talking about the future and, and what that holds yeah. um, Yesterday when we were at Watamana, we saw how hydro and, and the advent of hydro really transformed homes mm. um, and allowed us to kind of get, you know, new irons and new ovens and, and life was easier. Yeah, um, definitely. We're undergoing a similar sort of transition now. So you think about your lawnmower of 20 years ago and now it's electric. True. More and more of us are getting electric Computers. cars. Yeah. Um, and what that means on a kind of a national scale is that demand is increasing um, and demand for renewable energy is increasing. That's so good for our kids. It's great for our kids, but what it means for hydro and in particular in Tassie yeah. um, is that our role will actually change a little bit. So uh, we'll become almost like the battery of Australia and we can turn hydro on very quickly when other renewable sources like wind and solar aren't, aren't able to contribute to the market because the wind doesn't always blow and the sun doesn't always shine. So yeah. we need that reliable energy source, renewable energy source to come in and fill those gaps. And just like a battery, we stand, you know, we're sort of sitting on the proverbial kitchen bench, yeah. ready to be fired up when, when we need it. 